Yes. It's still. But you can't be any geek off the street. You gotta be handy with the steel if you know what I mean. Keeping it real. Hello and welcome back to the channel. My name is Steven and this is Steel Keeping It Real. So you know what today is. It's Throwback Thursday! And because it is Throwback Thursday, what I like to do is dig deep into the crates and go back to the past and pull up some of the better hits of the past, present, future, wherever. But um, this particular week, I'm kind of stuck in the mid 90s to late 90s. And by that, I remember, uh, for me, it was a different time. Uh, mid 90s, I'm in my mid 20s. And um, there was a lot of things going on. You're coming out of grunge um, and you're getting into a different type of pop rock. Of course, grunge was not considered pop rock, but it was just kind of popular. It took over. Uh, so you had a different kind of uh, pop rock. And so the first one that I'm going to do this evening comes from 1998, and it's the Goo Goo Dolls, and it's Iris. Now, this was a huge hit back in 1998. Uh, and before we get, in, get get further into this, uh, please, if you're still here, please don't forget to hit the like button, the subscribe button, and the notification button, because I'm doing at least 15 videos each and every week. So, um, getting back to that, um, 1998, when this song came out, it also went to a movie starring Nicolas Cage and Meg Ryan, and it was called City of Angels. A very good movie. It's an underrated movie. And it's actually one of those movies where somebody put a leash on Nicolas Cage and basically said, like, look, I don't want you to do like be like that, Nicolas Cage. And we don't want you to be like that, Nicolas Cage. We want you to be as little Nicolas Cage as you can be. And so that's what they did. So he actually in the movie plays an angel who uh, falls in love with a particular person, Meg Ryan, and then um, doesn't like how he's feeling. He knows it's a different feeling than he's ever felt over the thousands of, or millenniums that he has lived. And so he he's willing to do certain sacrifices so he can be with her. And that's all I'm gonna tell you about that. So, um, I would like for you to hear you guys' feedback. Do you like the song? Do you not like the song where were you at when this song first came out or what memories does it bring to mind for you so without any further ado let's go ahead and get into the Goo, Goo dolls and iris and here we go
fight the tears that ain't coming All the moment of truth in your lies When everything feels like the movies Yeah, you bleed just to know you're alive by the Goo Goo Dolls, 1998. Now, one of the things that benefits me by re-listening to these songs is that back in the day, um, I wasn't driving in 1995, and so if I had to listen to something, it was on a radio, which really wasn't like the best kind of sound. And now that I'm, I'm doing this channel, I can listen to things with the headphones up and you know, noise reduction and everything else like that. And you hear these little intricacies that maybe you might not have, you know, paid attention to back in the day. And the one is that it seemed like this song was destined to be part of a movie with the type of or orchestral, um, what's the word I want to use? Composition. Uh, that is on this track and it's kind of reminiscent of like um, I don't want to miss a thing by Aerosmith from the movie Armageddon. It has that kind of epicness to it and Then you're hearing these others. You're hearing these other little intricate things like I think at one point It sounded like there was a cello that, or, or a upright bass uh, not the plucking kind, but a cello uh, that was being played in the very beginning that was slowly bringing us into this orchestration. 
and then you hear this little like mandolin being played uh, in the background, uh, and it's you know you're hearing that getting more prominent as the song goes on, and um, and then you realize how how kind of raspy and like it, it seemed like he smoked a pack of cigarettes before he decided to sing this song because it's got that raspiness like it's like it's Demi Moore you know speaking from back of the day um, and of course he's got the like the almost like the pixie kind of haircut for a guy uh, with the frosted parts of the hair that all cut goes in the makeup of, of this song and um I remember seeing this back in the day and seeing how they were at the one end of a tunnel and you just see cars driving by them on each, each side. And I was like, man, that's kind of risky. And as I'm getting older, it's like, yeah, that is kind of risky. Get out of the middle of the street. <laughs> um, but um, the, the, the version, I, I actually remember this version, but it had parts of the movie in it. And like when you look through the the, the the telescope, it would actually show pictures of the movie scenes that were going on, and it'd be backing up and, and doing that. And the only reference to the movie that this video shows, maybe it's a Mandela effect. I'm almost positive I saw it that way. If you remember it that way, let me know too. But um, the only reference it makes to the movie in the song, in the video, is where you see the two people in trench coats and they're looking up. Because that was a major th theme throughout the movie. Because the angels were basically there, uh, like watching us, you know, seeing how we react, making sure that we had our free will intact and, and things like that, and had somebody there for us when we passed away to, you know, usher our souls into the great beyond. Um, but that's about, that's that's all they show. It's basically almost like, all right, now that the movie's over and it's been a hit, let's just take the movie parts out of it and just do straight uh, video of you guys. But um, it is a movie worth checking out. I think I own this movie on DVD. I, I think I do. Uh, have to watch it again one of these days. I'm sure it's on some uh, type of platform, but it's, it's worth watching. All right, so that's it for this video. Uh, if you are still here, I thank you very much for uh, staying tuned. Uh, I'm almost to 800. I haven't even actually didn't check before I started doing videos today. I could well be at 800, because I think the last time I checked, I was like, like at 780 something. So, and that was yesterday. I haven't checked today. So, um... I just need your help in getting me to um, a thousand by New Year's. I was expecting just to hit 700 by Thanksgiving, but we're already on the way to 800, and Thanksgiving is next Thursday. So I'm I'm well above uh, ahead of the game. So um, I just need you guys' help in getting me to my goal. And all I need for you guys to do is like, subscribe, share, and comment. Peace.